organizations operating in an environment of diversity, that diversity doesn't necessarily equal inclusion. Tilt, a Trinity College uh, Dublin-based team, has created a training solution to make diverse organizations more inclusive that focuses on individual, or rather that focuses not on individual unconscious bias training, but on shifting the norms around social interactions within the organizations. To walk us through their product, here's Anne Holohan from Tilt. Uh, thank you, Anton. Thank you, everyone. Um, in peacekeeping operations, you have diverse organizations, militaries, police, civilian organizations with diverse personnel. Yet they must work together effectively. An inclusive organizational culture is essential. Today, almost every organization in every sector is facing this challenge of turning diversity into inclusion. What is the pain of not doing this for organizations? Uh, well, research shows that inclusive organizations are more effective, they're more sustainable, they're more profitable, they attract and keep talent better. But how to get from diversity to inclusion is not an easy task. Our company, Transformation in Learning and Training, or TILT, has developed an online training solution that meets this need. We make games, immersive, research-based, role-playing online games. Each game has a storyline and a curriculum drawn from state-of-the-art research and from in-depth interviews with personnel in that sector. Each player plays through the character as a character in the story. In doing this, they get exposed to knowledge, they get to take the perspective of a character in the story, and they make decisions about what that character says and does. I'll give you one quick example. Uh, you can play through a chapter as Mike, a Nigerian-Irish student from Galway in his first year in college. This gives the player insight into the experience of interaction in a diverse but not necessarily inclusive context. It helps the player be more mindful of their own words and behaviour and the impact they can have on others. We know it works because the learning platform includes assessment before and after the game and eight out of 10 players' scores increase. An initial study in Trinity that we did showed that the majority of players' score stays high one month after they play the game. And a majority who had played the game also reported becoming more mindful in their interaction with other students. By changing the awareness of individuals, we change the interactional culture and ultimately the practices of an organization. We believe the market is worth tens of millions across a range of sectors. Every game is bespoke and can be adapted for local and sectoral requirements. We already have paying customers. We are rolling the university student game out with multiple partners in the higher education sector in Ireland, including Trinity, UCC and DCU. We are developing further content for a staff game at their request. We're also developing a trial game with the Gardaí and with Scottish Police. We're looking for an investor and or partner who want to make an excellent return on investment and have a social impact to help us scale up to meet the incredible demand and need in this area. That's it. Thank you. Thank you, Anne. Come on over and have a seat. The scalability end of things, Anne, you talked mm -hmm. about it being bespoke. To what, to what extent does that impact on the capacity to scale? Because mm. if you create and simply set free as a licensed product, it, mm. it's a lot less labor intensive than if you're tailoring all the time. Uh, well, the way we're doing it is we're developing a knowledge base, right? So it's like a vast database of uh, different elements of the curriculum and the games. Um, so we have like the art assets, uh, learning objectives, characters, dialogue, um, interactions. And so we can pull as needed um, and also translate fairly easily and localize. So the more we make, the better we get. And what's your route to market? HR directors, that kind of role is it? Or is it straight to the user? Um, well, it's straight to the organizations, so that's what we're doing at the moment. Um, we, we approach organizations individually um, and then within sectors, they start talking and get to know about what's available. And, and you talked works. about the studies that show that it worked. Can you give us a sort of an example of the impact that you've seen? Um, well, yeah, the impact is on uh, the students' mindfulness in terms of their interaction. 
Uh, so they become aware, they become more aware of what they say and do that can inadvertently have a negative impact on uh, their fellow students or their peers or colleagues. Um, so it's all about focusing on interaction as opposed to unconscious biases. Um, briefly, Anne, is there anything like it currently in operation in the market? Um, not in, in the, the kind of inclusive way that we do it. You know, so there is online training, uh, there is assessment, um, but experiential training is very logistically difficult and expensive to deliver. Uh, whereas because ours is online, it's inexpensive and accessible to everybody. A nice position to be in. Thank you very much, Anne. Thank you, Anton.